welcome back, uh, Asif Manvi. Really eating it up over there huh, with that entrance. You know, um, it was the entrance I always wanted when I worked here uh -huh. that yes. I never got. Yes. So here we go. There you go. Thank you. you did it beautifully. Thank you. Uh, we we miss you around here. Now, quick question: How many hosts did you have while you were here? Uh, <laughs> Yeah, we used to, so, so there used to be this show called The Daily Show with Jon Stewart. And, mm. and, and you know that old guy that does it on Mondays now? Yeah. He used to do it every day. Every day? You he, was a, he was a young guy, and he used huh. to do it every day. And uh, he was the only host for a long, a long time. How odd. Yeah, and then another guy took over mm. for a long time, mm -hmm. uh, a guy named uh, Terry, Trevor, Trevor. Yeah. That sounds right. Yeah. And, uh, and now it's just whoever's free, I guess. <laughs> yeah. yeah. That's right. Yeah, I think so. I think so. You guys, you guys. So, how we got here. No, I, I don't even. You well, know. see, I, you know, I got to work with you for a little bit. We were here together. And I wanted to go back and watch some old pieces, because I really remember so little of your work. Just not... <laughs> Not memorable in any real, real sense. Yeah. Uh, uh, and they took down the Daily Show archives online. Yeah, yeah. so now yeah. nobody, yeah, exactly. People, the young kids are now like, have you seen this new show? It's called The Daily Show. They have no idea no. that it has existed for you know a long it time. Is, they don't say show, they say content. Yes. Content. They say there's new right. content. Yeah, I, don't, I don't know. I'm, yes. I'm, I, I was able to find a little piece from a, a field piece you wow. did uh, wow. with then Governor of Florida Rick Scott. Yes. Do, do we have like that Rick. piece? You, you, you had a simple request for the governor at that point, who yeah. I believe was making similar requests to constituents of his own at the time. Can we right. play that? Yeah. Governor, uh, you benefit from hundreds of thousands of taxpayer dollars every year. So would you be willing to pee into this cup to prove to Florida taxpayers that you're not on drugs? You're not using that money for drugs? I've done it plenty of times. You would? I've done it plenty of times. Would you pass this forward to the governor? There it is. No. There it is. No. Begging a politician for their urine. Yeah. High point, low points? How do you, you view You know what? That? I, I loved that moment because we were actually at Rick Scott's uh, press conference. And so all of the reporters from the entire state of Florida were in that room. And when I asked him to pee in the cup, um, you could see there was just this silence that went over the entire room. And people were like, who is this? What is happening? And nobody knows. And then, you know, you see the piece, and he doesn't do it, and, we, and I pass the cup down. <laughs> and, and, and the poor guy in the front row, he's like, he's left holding the cup, and then he just sort of puts it on the floor. And, but then when we left that room, every reporter from the state of Florida came up to me afterwards and was like, oh, my God, <laughs> we wish we could do yes. that. <laughs> they were so jealous that I got to do that. Yeah, I mean, did you like that part of it? It's so funny being where we all come from the correspondent background, yeah. which means sometimes you're sitting in uh, poorly lit rooms interviewing people, but sometimes Changing you're out Changing in a there. Burger King bathroom to go and to sure. talk to some yes. senator. Yeah. And sometimes it is run and gun. You don't have credentials. I actually, I actually uh, did a piece once where I went into a bathroom in a bodega in, uh, in D.C. and came out in a Batman costume. <laughs> And so I went in in my suit and then came out like th a few minutes later in a Batman. And you could just see people in, in, in the book just being like, is that, is that real? What is happening? Like, did that guy just go in? Yeah. It was, it was, yeah. So that was what it was. You we almost got arrested about... too, right? I did almost get arrested. Yeah. yeah. In, in Boise, Idaho. Uh, uh, at, at the EP... We walked into the um, EPA offices. Mm -hmm. um, the EPA is something that won't exist soon. I was going to say, yeah. yeah. It's, 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 historically yeah, yeah. speaking, It's going to yes. go away. Uh -huh. But back then, so we walk into the EPA offices. I am dressed in a two-headed fish costume. Oh, we have a picture. I, oh, there yeah. it is. There it is. Yeah. 
Because of the pollution, the fish in the river were sh turning up with two heads. So this is what the piece that we were doing. And so there we are. Uh, I walk into the EPA office. The poor man who works there comes out from behind. And I've got a crew with me and, uh, and our producer, Brendan, and we're all standing there. And the guy comes out and he says, I'm sorry, you, you, know, you, can't, you can't be here. And I said, no, I have a... I have a complaint. I have two heads <laughs> now, and I did not start out this way. And he was like, no, you got, you really, you can't be here. And I, and I kept playing the role of the fish, <laughs> to which he finally said to me, sir, you are not a fish. <laughs> That's the good stuff. <laughs> <laughs> you have to leave. And then they called Homeland Security. Oh, my God. Uh, because apparently, like trespassing in a federal EPA is a federal office, so mm -hmm. the Homeland Security. So we walk out, and it's into the parking lot, and it was like, boom, boom. these Homeland Security guys show up. They get out, and they, you know, they're ready to arrest us. And uh, my producer <laughs> Brennan was like, "Listen, you know, we're with the Daily Show, and and it was literally good cop, bad cop, because one guy was about to arrest us, and the other guy was like, I love the Daily Show." <laughs> He said, like, you guys are with the Daily Show? And I was like, and at that point, at that point, I was like, yeah, and I, I can get Jon Stewart on the phone and he can <laughs> explain to you what we're doing. We're doing. And so while he's like, I'd love, and so I'm pretending, because I don't know, I don't have John's, John's number. So I'm all. pretending. Like, I'm tr gonna try and get John on the phone, and Brendan is sweet talking the other guy, trying to be like, listen, you know, we can get you tickets to the show. And the angry cops talking yeah. to the other fish yeah, head the at other, the time, exactly. not getting a response. Yeah. So they eventually let us go, but it was, it was touch and go for a minute. And Brendan is like, I can't be in jail, because his wife was pregnant, I remember, at the time, and he was like, I gotta get home, she's gonna kill me if I end up in jail tonight. Like, I, you know, so it, it, it all worked out, but it was... There was a moment there where we actually really thought we were going to go to jail. Terrifying. <laughs> you, you have gone from battling demons in D.C. to now battling demons on Paramount Plus Paramount. with your show, yes. Evil. Yes. Now in its fourth season. Four seasons, yeah. It's such a good show. Oh, thanks. It's so fascinating. The, the, it's, it's a horror dramedy. Yeah. Um, but the Kings, who created the show, brilliant writers, are, are known for really exploring political and societal issues. Yeah. Is that what interested you in working with them? Well, I mean, many reasons. You know, A, they're incredible writers and incredible uh, creators. They created The Good Wife and The Good Fight. Uh, the Good Fight was one of my favorite shows before I even, you know, just their take on, on, on societal issues and, and politics and the absurdity and the satire that they use in their in their shows. And so when I got this script, it was just a great script and a great premise, and it's turned out to be such an amazing experience. And we've gotten to tell such great stories and have so much fun. And, you know, wh where's the show that you get to go and, and like, actually interact with demons, you know? Like, <laughs> well, like, well, well, I mean... I mean I've, you've ever been to a MAGA event. There's very, there's, very fi there's very fine people on both yeah, sides. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh. <laughs> but, uh, you know, we, it's, it's great. There's amazing uh, uh, writers, and the uh, actors are, are great that I get to work with. So it's just been a treat. And, and uh, it's just, you know, I can't say enough about it. It's just been, like, one of those shows where you get... There's a, a coalition of, like, sort of great writing, great acting, great storytelling, all of that stuff. It happens rarely, and I feel like we kind of hit the jackpot with this show, and, and if you get a chance to watch it, it's a lot of fun. It's, uh, it's so good, and you're phenomenal, and oh, I thanks. feel like you get to explore so many different layers with your character. It's, yeah. a, it's a comedy, it's a drama, yeah, it's a yeah. horror. There are it, a lot that's of... the great thing, that, that in, intersection of comedy and horror, which is so delicate, and you got, and you, you know, there's one, there was, uh, our show has these demons, like I said, and then there was one episode in season three, I remember, and this sort of tells you the sort of DNA of the show, where I'm in, in bed with a demon. You should watch it. Anyway, um, I'm Story in bed with... Life. I, you know, like... <laughs> as we are, you know, there you go. And, and she's about to, like, bite me, and, uh, and... But she pulls out her retainer before she... 
Yeah, and so, and, and I remember just thinking like, oh, this is, that's the shell. This yeah. is the yeah, shell. Yeah, yeah. Like our demons have retainers, <laughs> you know, that yeah. they have to take out before they can actually be demonic. So that's kind of got, it's, it just tells you right there, that's the sort of absurd horror comedy sort of, you know, fence that we ride. You talked about playing your uh, your character, Ben. You had a yeah. quote that I thought was really interesting. You said that um, in an interview, uh, when you're playing Ben, you like playing him because playing Ben is especially rewarding because he gets to be intelligent, funny, and more importantly for me, he gets to be physical and sexual. Yes, that's right. I thought, like, as a as a married man with a child, <laughs> is, <laughs> is that what, what you get out of this shit? Yeah, is that yeah, what's yeah. happening? Isn't that why, isn't that why we're doing it? Uh, no, it, it, you know, it's so... Look, as, as, a, as a brown actor in Hollywood, right? This is right here. Uh, <laughs> We often historically have not gotten to play like super sexy characters. There's a lot of there's a lot of doctors on my resume. There's a lot of <laughs> a lot of cab drivers. A lot of you know the occasional terrorist. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. but 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 not like a guy who gets to fix things and be sexy and sort of wear drive a pickup truck and all that. So there was a sense of like, oh, this is a character that I've never gotten to be yeah. on television before, you know? So it was kind of fun to sort of play that MacGyver guy. You know, my wife, for, for example, is, is in love with Ben. She thinks he's super sexy because oh. he can fix things, you know? <laughs> and, and... Do you ever go home and role play as Ben? Uh, yeah, I, 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 I have. <laughs> I, I took a lot of the clothes from the show well just done. so that I could wear them, you know, in the bedroom. <laughs> well done. I, I remember, it's interesting, I remember we did a piece on the show called The Stack. We have a picture of it uh -huh. here where we were all sitting in a chair behind the desk. There's yeah, you there at you the go. front. That's me at the back, <laughs> yeah, if yeah, you recall. You. Uh, yeah, there I am. There there I am. Yeah. Were, were yeah. you exercising your sexuality on this yeah. one? Well, was I, this, uh, yeah. I, did, you, did you get your demons out there? Yeah, that was... that. I have no memory of that, by the really? way. <laughs> <laughs> that was before we had HR. Right, yeah. right, exactly. <laughs> Um, yeah, that was, uh, was that on, like, when John was leaving, we were doing that? Was it was, that... I think, the, I think the bit, we were, we were lampooning, uh, the setup on CNN oh, where yeah. they had so many people yeah. around a round table, so we said, <laughs> it, what if we just put everybody into one chair and built it all up? The budget was very low back then. It is. <laughs> yeah, we used, to, we used to have good times. We used to good have good times. times. Uh, uh, yeah. Uh, um, well, I, I'd love to say you should come back anytime, but I've talked to people around here and that isn't the sentiment. No. Uh, <laughs> But this has been fun, this right? This has been really fun. This has been great. It's been really, really so fun. So this will be the last think, time we yeah. ever see each other. Yeah, let's, yeah. let's, so thank let's you. not spoil it. Let's yeah. not spoil Keep it. Keep it here, yeah. and let, you know, and uh, that's it. That's it's, it. Like, it was lovely <laughs> to see you. I have a great life. Yeah, you as well. <laughs> the final season of Evil is streaming now.